Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, Atiyyullah, Atiyya Rasulul Amri minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukul ajeezu da'eef al miskeen wa zalim wa jahal. And but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. And alhamdulillah for these blessed nights that Allah grant us to celebrate the birth of Imam al Husayn as salam, the immensity of lights and blessings, the birth of Imam Zayn al Abideen as salam, and the birth of Imam Sayyidina Abbas alayhi salam that the immensity of lights and ishq and love. We pray that Allah dress us from these nights, dress us from these tajallis, the blessings of the month of Shaban, the month which Prophet described is my month, the holy month for the love of Sayyidina Muhammad We pray that by means of that love to dress us and bless us and take every difficulty away and every darkness away in a world that is more and more in the oceans of darkness and we talked on the realities of manifestation and the power that human power that God has given to insan to humanity and they don't recognize their power but shaitan knows the power that has been given by Allah wa laka karamna bani adam that we have honored your creation Qur'an and Kareem, Ayatul Kareem describing we have honoured, that Allah describing we have honoured your creation and this world is based on its manifestation and energy and we are energy beings and came to earth and forgot who we are. Our journey is back to the oceans of power, the Lord of power and the turuqs are to open people to remember the world of light in which they came. And these realities of energy and power and qudra is all around us. And my children were having a discussion on words and this whole understanding that now is awakening with words and the understanding of words means that when humanity begins to regain their understanding of qudra, power, light, then we understand that everything we say and everything we do is going to be based on a vibration. Sound means it's most important in last days, that's why from Sayyidina Isa salam came the Injil, the spoken word. By the time coming to Sayyidina Muhammad is now the owner of praise, means the owner of sound. Brings for us the reality of the melodious sounds of the heaven called Holy Qur'an. Means everything becomes about the importance of sound but unfortunately humans forgot. And as a result of forgetting they fall into the traps of energies and difficulties and sicknesses. So then when they come to begin to teach us, we'll go first to the dark side so that we understand what is the reality of Qur'an that Allah has given to us. When we forget that this is an ocean of energy, an ocean of power, your ability to manifest positive energy and manifest negative energy. Then we come into their languages that they were bringing up, say, what's this word, what is that word? Because they wanted to see the similarity of what Islam's understanding for these people who are now awakening and understanding and they came to their wording and their vocabulary. Means that Islam's Arabic is an ancient language and Prophet described it is a language of paradise, means that all of its haqqaiqs have an immense power from the heavens, from Allah from the Divinely Kingdom. Then you get into the newer languages which are not from heaven and they were designed by malignant forces and nefarious beings. And they understood that the language and the words have a power. And these power can either elevate human beings or can entrap them. 
So then they say from beginning you go to school and this is about the English language and for those whom speak English and understand that the predominance around the world and the importance of speaking English and what's happening in these English words. So in school they taught us spelling. <laughs> The kids were like mind boggled over this and there's videos on YouTube so I recommend anybody to, who, who, who likes you know go into the magic of words and people are now understanding. So in school you're, you're brought up to understand spelling, means casting spells and each word had an energy they knew about but they did not tell people about. It was for the elites and those who wanted to use the power of energy to entrap people, to m control their mind, control their feeling, control their being. If they know about energy and the mass of people don't know about energy, well then imagine the amount of power they can exert on people. So they teach you from school a word called spelling which means the ability one day to cast these spells and these energies. And they say even the, the word of grammar was from gram grammar which meant the ability to incantations to call upon demons. So it means this whole understanding of this language and the use of language and when people don't understand the world of energy and they think, oh this is for like mystics, that's where humanity falls entrapped. So when you're young they tell you don't use curse words. So they acknowledge that there are words that are cursed and the use of them brings about immense negative energies. So I think in the talks when we were talking about manifestation that for us to understand that Prophet confirmed that the good deeds of people will manifest and that manifestation of goodness is what they will take to their graves. Now in all of these Latin words they're teaching the importance of these words. So when people are swearing and cursing there's an entity, a negative entity that is appearing. And as a result of that negative entity when people begin to live a life of cursed words means they are cursed, they're from a demonic source. As a result the one whom swears through their tongue and continuously cursing, 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 now all their lyrics and songs are cursed words. Means that the demonic beings are manifesting as a result of these words and being fed from these words. So when somebody is not able to control the cursing that coming from their mouth is the demonic en entity that's present with them that requires that energy from them and pushes within their being to begin to curse, start to use these negative words so that the vibration that comes from you is of a negative reality, immensely negative and so negative that it's feeding the demon that's near you. And that's why the shaykhs would tell you when you're cursing you are possessed right now because the angels, truth and false, they can't stay in the vicinity. So it means all of the positive energies will leave. As a result of leaving the negative being is controlling the tongue of that person that feed me with your power of manifestation begin to say these negative and cursed words because they feed off of that negativity. As a result their demons become much more powerful, much more enraged and as a result they entrap that human with much more power. So they're using humans' powers of manifestation to entrap them. So this is the negative side. So then the kids were going through every single word that they were trying to think of, that was just a few of them. Spelling, cursed, grammar was the ability to cast. So when you go to school they teach you grammar, grammar which was the ability to cast because they're going to teach you how to spell and use these letters to bring about spells. 
And that's why when they say, what is it, good morning, why, are, why is it morning as if somebody had died, awake. Awake is something that you do at a funeral. They even had for financial cash flow that your, your cash should be flowing. Then they, they created a word called the bank. Well bank is where the cash flow stops. You know like in a river, the bank of a river is where the water stops. So anytime you put your money in the bank all your cash flow stops because you're giving it to somebody else to make cash flow and business with it. So you're not supposed to put it in a bank, you're supposed to invest it. So all of these words that they were training people with and instilling upon them in their understanding and their heart and subliminal understandings was in trap and song. And then they were going over every single word that they could imagine and what this word meant and its importance to have from uh, the bank, the contract. They say the con, when they give you a contract, con was a lie and the tract was a, was a means or a, a, a way to convey a lie to somebody. Because a contract in Islam was the writing of the facts, you do this, I do that. Modern day contract is a way to fool someone because all of the legalese inside of it is, is for the benefit of the one who's writing it to entrick you, to con you so that when you sign it eventually you're going to get it when they want to enforce it. And that you have to hire a, a liar to understand the contract. So you hire somebody to lie for you. So this, <laughs> this is the, this is the, the, the Western <laughs> language and the foundation of, of, a, of a language built on immensely negative understandings and un, unrealities. The extent of its darkness is something that can't be understood. That people think, oh this is a coincidence, it's no coincidence, these are all new societies. These are new languages that came and they were brought out by magicians who conjure. The understanding of magic and magic was the ability to use and manipulate energy. Well that's the demonic side. If they put enough of negativity and negative words and all your negative understandings you greet somebody by saying, hello. What happens when you greet somebody right away and you say hell upon them? Already you brought a negative energy that the two of you have to first deal with that energy before you can do anything. So it means these are, this is something that's not a, a coincidence. These are brought about by, by shayateen, by nefarious creatures who understood energies. They brought about these languages, these words to entrap humanity, to, to make them to fight, to make them to have difficulties, to make them to have every type of disagreement and arguments and every type of battle because they feed off of negativity. They don't prosper with peace, they don't prosper with positive energy. The most they can do is to take away anything divine so that their system becomes of a fiery demonic reality and energy. So we see it now in everything, every word, every, every, every phrase they use has a different meaning. And it's enough for somebody to keep saying them, they don't know the energy of it. So just a simple understanding of keep going around and telling people, hello, hello, hello. Hello, imagine the energy that's coming up. So means then that's when we understood, when we understand the negative because you're not going to see the positive. When you understand the extent of negative energy, extent of satanic influence in everything around us, only then you can see the azimat of Allah the greatness of Allah the greatness of what Sayyidina Muhammad brought. Then we understand who was representing the heavens and who came to fight this satanic kingdom. 
That's why in, in this culture we don't assimilate and in this Islamic culture don't put it aside, it is your most powerful weapon. That when you greet somebody, as salaamu alaykum, you get on the phone, salaamu alaykum, don't use the word hell oh, hell oh. You bring about your negative energy and that negative energy if you're a powerful person and you don't know what you're doing and every time you say that word you're casting a spell. So these are magicians and everyone's a magician, everyone's a magician. It's whether you know it or not. But if you're for the heavenly kingdom then the energy and the qudra that you use is in Allah's way. And that's why Prophet brought for us the heavenly power, not to fall prey to the demonic world. Means that every word we have when, we, when we're happy we say, Alhamdulillah, it's all in praising to Allah You can't assimilate with a different… Means when we come to tariqah they want us to use these words. These words are the weapon of our existence. When you're happy you say, Alhamdulillah, when you greet somebody you say, Salaamu Alaikum and it brings an energy of peace, an energy from the Divinely Presence to shield you and to begin to protect the conversation. Means even by waking up, SubhanAllah, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah reciting Qur'an before going to sleep means that everything that Prophet brought for us was immense energies. When we understood because we say always you have to understand the dark side to appreciate the light side. You watch a couple of videos on casting of spells with the English language and you see the extent of how negative the foundation of the language is. Then we understand, only then we understand the power of du'a, the power of recitations, the power of salawat on Sayyidina Muhammad That's why Prophet brought for us these realities that praise upon me. It's a quick class that you want to defeat magic and these people's spells upon you because 99% uh, of all people when they're talking with you they're casting spells upon you and they don't know even what they're saying or what they're doing. That's the point of this talk, <laughs> anyone you're dealing with is casting a spell upon you. He's using words not knowing the words he's using and he's casting, he's throwing upon these energies. That's why our heavenly religion, our, our heavenly way given by Prophet is an immense power. Just saying, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala Ali Sayyidina Muhammad what type of power came with that? What type of presence from the reality of Sayyidina Muhammad came to dress us and to bless us? With every salawat that recited what type of light that Allah brings and that light as a result goes back and dresses the servant. Every recitation, every salawat, every Qur'anic ayah that the, the insan is reciting produces an immense energy, immense lights. These lights go back and dress their soul, dress their being, protect them from all the negativity that society is casting as well as feeding the being through these energies. When we begin to curse and speak bad and use this power of this tongue towards satanic ways then the devil's being fed. When we begin to praise and when we talk, Alhamdulillah, Shukran Lillah, SubhanAllah, MashaAllah, every time we're talking with Allah's power and Allah's might the positive being is being made. And that positive being is being built with this zikr, built with these good amal, built with these good deeds. As a result that becomes a knight and a warrior to defend that person with heavenly lights and heavenly blessings that begin to dress upon the servant, bless upon the servant. More so needed than any other time in our existence 
the amount of negativity that is everywhere, the amount of badness that is everywhere that the, the curse became the normal, became in every song and every, every child and every human, every person is now reciting it and enjoying it. What type of demons they're feeding with these sounds and these realities. And what Allah gave to us the greatest weapon is then praise me. Praise upon Sayyidina Muhammad do the zikrs, do the awrads, all these recitations have an immense reality of bringing out Divinely powers and Divinely energies for our protections. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaam ala al-mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ya Allah Shaykh al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam wa kiram wa la mashaykhina fi tariqat al-nashbandiyat al-aliyya wa sayr wa sadatina. Musidaqeen al Fatiha. When you understood the sound, then you understand who the players. Huh? So, the biggest magician are the reciters, right? That's why he pays them hundreds of millions of dollars because as they're making sounds. And they're using everything from the cursed dimension, they're putting spells upon people, hypnotizing and, dis and destroying, breaking down their very heart and soul with their energies. And those are his magicians and that's why we said those are the high priests of the Dajjal kingdom. Then look at the warriors from the heavens or the reciters because as they recite and they're reciting and praising upon Allah praising upon Sayyidina Muhammad the immensity of their love and Divinely energies, these are the weapons that destroy the satanic kingdom, that bring down every bad character, every bad energy and that becomes an immense power. That's why shaitan is blocking it, shaitan is making the nafs and to come against it and anyone who recites in the way of Allah carries an immense, immense weapon against shaitan. So then what do you think, shaitan going to leave you alone and say, please you, you go recite and, and destroy the demonic kingdom on earth? Or no, you want to cut your tongue so that you don't use your tongue as a weapon against his demons and that you don't use your tongue to glorify Allah and the heaven, the kingdom. That the, we, are, we are from the heavenly kingdom on a satanic realm. Our life is to praise, our life is to praise Allah Our life is to bring heavenly lights upon this earth until Allah calls us back into the heavens. And His most powerful weapon is praise. The most powerful weapon is a heart filled with love and a tongue that's empowered. We pray that Allah give us that reality, grant us that reality and to empower that reality. That the sound becoming more and more significant on this earth, just look at the negativity and what they're doing with it. Bi Muhammad al-Mustafa wa bi Surat al-Fatiha.